are many paints to consider when getting into painting your model kits, and that list is ever growing. Moto Paints, the topic of this video, aren't necessarily a new paint company, but their US distributor, Robot Kai, is a new company, and they've recently made a large push to bring Moto into the spotlight. Let's see what they can do. is going on boys and girls welcome back to my channel start off on the right foot hit that like and that subscribe button for me and uh yeah like i said in the intro they were checking out some moto paints so moto paints is not a new brand i've heard of moto paints before but they've always kind of been like not definitely not as mainstream as like gaia or mr hobby and some of these other brands that we're a little bit more familiar with here in the states but it looks like they have a new US distributor and that's where Robot Kai comes into this story. So right now it looks like Robot Kai is doing this big push to really get Moto out there and really uh, get them kind of exposed on the on the scene here. So I'm definitely appreciative for Robot Kai uh, giving me the opportunity to uh, take a look at their paints. So the first disclaimer that we gotta get out of the way about this paint is that Moto Paints, this is lacquer base paints that we're gonna be taking a look at. So if you currently don't use lacquer base paints for one reason or another, this is probably not gonna be a good option for you. But on the flip side, if you already are a user of lacquer base paints like Mr. Hobby or SMS or uh, Gaia notes, these are all lacquer based paints, then this is gonna be a good um, alternative brand for you. So as you guys know, I'm a big Mr. Hobby person. I use Mr. Hobby, it's probably uh, 90 to 95% of all the paints that I use. But from time to time, I have used Gaia notes as well. So it'll be nice to check out a alternative to both Mr. Hobby and Gaia notes and uh, see how they perform. Now, real quick, I gotta give a huge thanks to Bella for sending all of these extra paints. When uh, she asked if I was actually interested in checking out the paints, I only gave her a couple of paints that I was actually interested in. Um, you know, I just didn't want to be greedy or anything. So I only asked to take a look at the chrome and the gold and the phantom red. But instead, she sent out this entire set of paints as well as some extra paints for the wife even. So checking out the chrome and gold set that they sent. So you get three colors in here. You get a black base coat, you get your chrome and you get your gold top coat. Something to note about the paints inside of this silver and chrome set is that all three are already pre-thinned, so there's no thinning necessary. Now, normally I'm not a fan of pre-thinned paints. However, honestly, this pre-thinned ultra black that they have in here is probably my favorite gloss black I have seen to date. This gloss black comes out so glossy, guys. It is ridiculous. The chrome in this is also very, very good. You'll have no problem getting that mirror finish on here as long as you apply it slowly and take your time. But yeah, the chrome on here is amazing as well. And it'll set you up really good to be able to do a nice like candy paint job or something along those lines. Now, unlike the silver and chrome set paints, the Phantom Red did in fact need to be thinned with a lacquer thinner. I'm not sure what I thought this was gonna look like, but I didn't think it was gonna look like this. <laughs> I can only really describe this as like almost being like a, a chameleon type color. Like at certain points, it looks like a red, but when you start to shift this to the right or the left, you start to see like almost like an orange pop out of it and it's incredible, I love this color. Of all the paints that Robot Kai sent me, I think this is probably my favorite, if not, you know, my second favorite. It's, it's way up there. I really honestly don't even think that the camera does it justice. So the next group of paints are all a part of their basic lacquer series from what I can tell. And so for this, they sent pretty much all the basic colors that we would need to be able to make a good looking RX-78 Gramps. So starting from the top, we've got pure white, pure black, pure red, 
royal blue, and pure yellow. So now let's talk about thinning and thinning ratio. So according to Bella and Robot Kai, the recommended thinning ratio for these is one to three. Now, for me personally, one to three is super high. I mean, it's a lot of thinner, but you know, because that was their recommended uh, ratio, I decided to go ahead and thin at least one of their paints to their recommended ratio and try it that way. So, you know, I, I went ahead and I gave it a try and I gotta be honest with you guys, like I thought the, the one to three ratio is just not for me. The paint is just too thin in my opinion and it's just too easy to you know, make runs with this paint, or really just any paint that I've tried at a one to three ratio, it's just too high. Now the upside to using a one to three ratio is that you will get more paint. It is gonna produce more paint for you and you can see the difference in how much paint I was able to make using a one to three ratio with the white and using a one to one and a half ratio, which is my normal ratio uh, for the rest of the colors. So for the rest of the paints, I use my normal one to one and a half ratio using of course, the greatest thinner on the market, Mr. Hobby's leveling thinner. This is the best thinner that you can, that money can buy really at this point. Now, just to kind of level set everything and kind of make things work the way that they would actually be used if I was painting a kit, I went ahead and primed all these spoons with Mr. Surfacer 1200. And in the case of the red and the yellow spoon, I actually use Gaia Notes Pink Primer for those so we could really make the red and the yellow pop. I gotta say, honestly, me, I was most impressed with the black, red, and the blue. These three colors just really had a lot of depth to them, and they really just had a deep, deep gloss. Like, the gloss on these is really amazing. All of these colors produce pretty much a mirror-like finish. Very, very impressive. So last but not least was those pre-consistence paints and starting off with that Miku green. And this was a great color. I really actually liked this color. This was actually given to me for the wife and I'm sure she'll use it, but I had to give it a test drive. And uh, again, I was very surprised with how well this paint flowed and how well it kind of laid down and how glossy this got for pre-thin paint. So I gotta tell you guys, I was very impressed with it. And the last pre-consistence paint was the smoke effect. Now this one's not meant to really be used as a paint, I don't think. It's really more of kind of a wash, it seems. And uh, if you go to spray this, you actually will see that it comes out kind of a brownish type of dark color. You can definitely see where the smoke effect is in this paint. So yeah, this would probably be a really good color to use on some sort of diorama or um, you know, maybe if you're doing some weathering on your kit or something. I really honestly think that these paints came out looking great, but you know, I couldn't just leave it there. I always have to have something to compare to. It's easy to say something looks great when you don't have anything next to it. So in order for me to really kind of validate what I was seeing in these paints, I needed to have something to compare them to. Now, I didn't wanna go through and compare every last one of these colors that they sent me but I did want to compare one of the most important colors in this whole set, black. So I took it upon myself to paint up two more black spoons from rival companies. One from Mr. Hobby, their standard black gloss, and then one from Gaia Notes, their ultimate black gloss. Looking at these, do you think you can tell the difference? Now seeing all of these in person led me to this one conclusion. The pre-thinned ultra black from Moto is the truth. This is, in my opinion, the best looking gloss black. I said that both before the comparison, but I was actually able to validate that after the comparison, seeing these four spoons side by side. So whatever they did to this ultra black really made this paint incredible. It's subtle, but it's definitely there. You can definitely see an improvement in reflection and crispness between this particular spoon and the others. So number one from the four is definitely that Moto Ultra Black Pre-Thin Paint. That's definitely the best one out of the four for me. 
Now looking at the other three with the basic moto compared to the Gaia notes and the Mr. Hobby, well, I'll leave it up to you guys to kind of figure out which one you think looks the best. But honestly, I think that the Moto does edge out the other two ever so slightly, but they are so close. They are so close. In fact, they are so close at this point that I would probably say that, you know, the results that you're gonna get for the three of them is probably gonna be more dependent on your ability to actually um, lay that gloss down than the actual paint itself. Like they're just, they're just that close. However, in my particular test, I do think that the basic moto came out a little bit ahead. There's just a little bit of, it's just a tad bit sharper on my test than, um, you know, on these other two spoons, but it's so, so, so small that, um, you know, I, I can't necessarily say that it wouldn't be different to the left or the right for one of you. Now, that is not the only surprise comparison that I did. I also wanted to do a surprise comparison to that chrome. Everybody knows that a good chrome is needed in order to get that super nice candy paint job. So I wanted to test their chrome next to another really well-known chrome product, and that would be Outlet 2's Chrome. To my surprise, here again, their chrome actually edged out the Outlet 2 chrome just by a little bit. And again, kind of like with the black, you probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference unless you had them both side by side. But once you do, you can clearly see that this chrome came out a little bit sharper. You can just see more detail. I can definitely see myself picking up some more of these. And there's also the benefit that these are actually a little bit cheaper than both Gaia Notes and Mr. Hobby. So that's always a bonus as well, especially if they're gonna perform, you know, on par or above that of the, of the Mr. Hobby or the Gaia Notes. So you can't really beat that. I'm super thankful for having been allowed to participate in this testing of the Moto Paints. So shout out to Robot Kai and Bella. Thank you guys so much for sending these over. And uh, you guys let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about these paints. I'm definitely gonna be picking some of these up. So be sure to look down in the description below. I'll have a link over to Robot Kai's website where you guys can pick up some of these paints for yourself. So definitely go over there and check that out. And uh, thanks again to Robot Kai and Bella for sending these out to me. I really, really appreciate it. If you guys could do me a big favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.